morning everyone welcome back to Super Friday for beginners um, because I know that I am just a beginner in all this um, it's been a good week you know everything's kind of getting back on track like I said before everyone's getting on their routine and their schedule which is nice and um, we actually just signed my son up for karate um, he's really excited he wants to take Taekwondo and uh, we went and watched some of the, the kids that he would be, you know, going with um, practice. And he was like, Mom, I'm so excited. I want to learn how to chop things. And he was like, I want to learn how to chop. <laughs> so he's excited about going. But um, it's good that we finally are getting him into, like, something after school. So that way he's got something that he can just go and blow all of his energy and you know have fun and learn like discipline and respect and stuff like that um with karate and you know it gives him something else to do rather than just be home and um being mean to his sister all the time and all that good stuff you know gives him the opportunity to you know gain some new friends and learn a new sport and all like and all that so he's excited and i'm excited now that he finally gets to do it and so we're also um, going to sign my daughter up for dance, but we haven't found a class yet because the um, community center that I go to, they offer it there, but it was too late. We um, signed her up a little too late, so we didn't get a chance to sign her up to that one. But we're trying to find another place that she can go to to do dance, so that way my son does karate you know, twice a week, and that way she can do dance twice a week. And everybody can get on their own little schedule and have their own little hobbies and get out of mom's hair for a while and, you know, exhaust some energy and meet some friends. And, you know, it's nice. It's nice to finally, like, get out of our house and start to do things and, you know, get back to, like, a normal life and all that other good stuff. So I'm excited. I'm excited that we finally get to do all these things. Great, you know, so now mommy can actually have some time to herself for a little bit. Uh, at least, you know, for a half hour, four times a week. So <laughs> that'll be nice. <laughs> um, but yesterday, um, I had a, a section meeting with my coworkers and my boss um, was talking about the upcoming Christmas party. And uh, she owns a catering business outside of her work. Um, they do like weddings and special events and things. And so she was wanting to get you know, a party together for our Christmas party. And so she was, you know, asking like who would want to go, kind of counting heads and figuring out you know, who's going to be there just so that way she could get prepared and, you know, she didn't want to spend a whole lot of money if, you know, nobody was going to show. So she was just like, you know, kind of getting a roster of who's going to be showing up. And, um, and of course I raised my, you know, I said, yeah, I'll definitely go, you know, I don't know if my husband will because he doesn't normally like to go to um, big events like that or whatever, whatnot. But you know, I, I will definitely be there. And, um, so she was going through the, you know, the whole section to see, you know, who wanted to be there. And she was like, yeah, so it sounds like, she's like, I'm going to have about 18 bottles of champagne. I've got a couple bottles of Grand Royal. And, you know, she's like naming off all these things that she's going to well stock the bar with. And so then I was like, well, maybe I'll lower my hand and not go. <laughs> Um, you know, so it's one of those things like, okay, so now I need to, um, kind of rethink it. Um, I would like to go, you know, I'd like to see my coworkers cause I haven't seen them, um, since March, you know, since we've been teleworking. And so I, you know, I do talk to them and I do send them messages and emails and we do still get socialized, but we haven't seen each other in six months. Um, so it'd be nice to get together and have a gathering outside of work and, meet with everyone again, but, um, maybe I need to find myself a plus one, you know, to go with me and, you know, somebody else that I can trust to go with me. So, um, I mentioned it to my husband last night. I didn't mention the alcohol part, but I did tell him that, you know, there was going to be a Christmas party, um, where my boss does, you know, her catering business. And, uh, he was like, yeah, that sounds fun. You know, um, he didn't really sound like he was all that excited about going. So I just, I just know him and I know what he's like. Um, he'll, you know, bow down to the last minute and not want to go and, you know, trying to find someone to watch the kids, you know, while we're going. So I, I just know in his nature that he probably won't go. So I need to find myself a plus one. 
uh, to go with me. And um, I have a, a coworker that I've, I'm, you know, close with. Um, that her and I talk every day, even outside of work. So I even thought about like telling her that I needed a wingman for the night, you know, and I just need someone to kind of be there with me to um, not necessarily tell her that I'm an alcoholic and I, I can't drink, but just say like, hey, um, I'm alcohol free, you know, and um, I don't plan on drinking at this event. So I need you to kind of be my wingman and just make sure that, you know, the temptation's not there and, and you know, kind of help me throughout the night not wanting to drink or whatever, whatnot. And so I thought about, you know, doing something like that or I thought about maybe bringing one of my kids with me and, you know, kind of using them as an excuse to kind of bow out early for the night, you know? It's always good to blame things on your kid and, and just be like, oh, sorry, you know, my son's not feeling well. It's time to go. <laughs> You know, it's always good to have something that you can use to kind of bow out early. Um, and kids are always a really good excuse uh, to use to, to leave early. So um, I'll, you know, probably show up with like my bottled water, you know, and just kind of hold my bottle of water. So that way if someone offers me a drink, I can say like, nope, sorry, I'm good. You know, I got my water um, and um kind of go through it and I know I'm probably overthinking a lot of it which of course I do um I overthink everything but you know it is good to have a plan in place you know it's good to have something in mind um so that way if I do feel uncomfortable or I don't want to be there or you know it's, it's getting to the point that I'm feeling nervous and it's starting to affect me I can say you know I'm good to go you know it's time for me to leave kind of thing so that it was brought up yesterday and I just want to talk about it because yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to be subjected to these things, you know, it's going to happen in my life at some point in time. So I do need to, you know, kind of address it. But, um, the party is on December 12th and my sobriety date is December 14th. So it would be two days prior to my one year anniversary. And I don't want to lose that. You know, I don't want to lose all the work and the hard work and everything that I've put forth to being sober for a year. Um, you know, just have something small like going to a Christmas party, ruin it, you know. So I'm, I'm coming up with a plan. I'm coming up with an idea. I'm coming up with something to, you know, so that way I can still attend, still see my coworkers, still see my friends and, and not feel um, out of place or nervous or, you know, um, uncomfortable. So I'm working through it, but I wanted to talk about it this morning. Hope everybody else is having a good day. It's been a good week. Um, like I said, everybody's back on track. Everybody's finally in their place where we need to be. So it's nice. I keep myself pretty busy. Um, I saw my sponsor on Saturday and we're going to start working on step four, which is the, the hard one that everybody has a hard time with, which is the resentments and start writing down, you know, all my resentments and things that have bothered me in the past, things that have triggered me and, you know, the events and scenarios that happened because of it and my drinking and how I felt about it and why I drank. And so this is going to be a hard one it's going through step four, but it needs to be done. Um, I've got two weeks to do it. Um, I'm not going to meet my sponsor this weekend because um, she's got something going on and I've got something going on. So we're not going to meet this weekend. So we're going to meet the following weekend, but um, I've, you know, haven't sat down yet to do it, but I will this weekend and start writing some stuff down and start writing, you know, all the resentments and things. And so it's gonna be hard, but it's gotta be done. You know, someone's gotta pull that bandaid at some point in time. There's no reason to not jump into it because, you know, dragging your feet on this one, you know, ultimately if you keep dragging your feet, it'll never get done. So just gotta jump in, you know, feet first and get through it so all right well I hope everybody else is having a great day and I hope everybody's gonna have a good weekend coming up it's gonna be a hollow Halloween weekend so it'll be nice to go out and trick-or-treat and see other costumes and I don't know if anybody is trick-or-treating we won't be um we'll just go see family and things like that you know just go to grandpa's or grandma and grandma's house and aunts and uncle's house and show off our costumes but we're not really gonna go out and trick-or-treat um at least not this year, so 
but I hope everybody else has a great day and I'll talk to you soon.